When a business owner is looking to bring on employees or consultants, it's really important to have sort of just basic agreements in place with them. And this will matter a lot when you sell your company, when you bring on investors, or just on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, there's really two basic agreements you want to have in place with employees. One is an offer letter. Generally, employees are at will. The offer letter just describes the nature of the relationship, how much they're getting paid, initial position, who they report to, has some general legal terms, possibly an arbitration provision, but just outlines the general terms of the employment relationship so it's all clear. Um, what's probably the more important agreement is what's called proprietary information and inventions agreement. You'll see people refer to these as PIIAs in writing a lot. Um, and that really does two things. One is it requires the employee to keep information confidential. And more importantly, it, it provides that all work product and all inventions that that employee makes belong to the company. And this is something people often miss. They figure just because someone's an employee, all the work they do belongs to the company automatically under law, which actually isn't true. Under the IP laws, the individual who creates something owns it in the absence of an agreement to the contrary. And so although there's some, some shop rights and other sort of random arguments people can make, it's really critical to have these agreements in place with your employees so that when down the road, when you do have investors, when you do have acquirers, or just when you just need to know for yourself, you can be confident that you actually own the product and whatever the company's developed. Similarly, for consultants, you want to have those same provisions, although it's usually all into a single independent contractor or consulting agreement, that similarly will outline the, nature, that outline the nature of a relationship as a consulting relationship, what's expected um, from a time perspective and commitment, how much the person's getting paid, and then it contains those same or very similar provisions related to confidentiality and ownership of work product. So again, it's just important with employees and consultants to have these agreements in place, mostly so that you make sure that you own everything that they work on, and in general, just to mitigate disputes later about the nature, relationship, or compensation or other issues.